I make dance shoes for them. So, I want you guys to talk to me. Well, I'll make my dance shoes for them. So, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about flights to Nigeria. You know, that's uh, a big deal, trying to find a flight to Nigeria. So I want to tell you guys about my experience on flights to Nigeria, okay? So, <clears throat> my favorite flight of all time, the one that I just continue to fly on, is my flight to, direct flight from Atlanta to Lagos. And that's from Delta Airlines. Okay, let me quit playing with this. Uh, <laughs> make this uniform. So, direct flight from Atlanta to Lagos, Nigeria. Now, that flight, from since I live in Ohio, okay, I have to fly from um, Dayton, Ohio to Lagos, to, I'm sorry, to uh, Nigeria. <laughs> sorry, yeah the music. I have to fly to Atlanta. Okay. So I fly from Dayton to Atlanta and that takes, I guess that takes about an hour. You know, it's a real short flight. And then I get a, I, there's a layover in Atlanta and that's about four hours. But let me tell you, the late, Atlanta airport is so very, very nice that you won't even mind the layover because it's like a three to four hour layover but what I do I always do I always go get something to eat then I always uh, you know then that gives me time to walk to the international section of the airport because the international section is all the way over to the other side of the airport so you gotta catch it and I'm not kidding you gotta get, you gotta get off your plane <coughs> excuse me then you gotta catch a train. They have a train inside the airport. So you gotta catch this train, okay? Get on this train, and this train will take you to the international section. And I think it's like section. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> Allergies or something else. But uh, I think it's section F for some reason. I can't remember, but whatever section it is, they'll take you to uh, that section. So you get on the train, you ride all the way over to that section, and the train ride is a really nice ride. I always enjoy the train ride. So you ride over to the section, to that section, and then you get off. You can either get food in that section, or you can go to... I always stop like by section E. Now this is at the Atlanta airport because that, it seems like that section has a little more variety and I like to get something to eat before I actually get to the international section because for some reason it seems like the variety just drops when you get over there. And you gotta remember when you get to Nigeria, you're gonna see uh, like American restaurants like KFC, you're gonna see all of that but it doesn't taste like it does here. So you want to get something. If you want to get your, <laughs> your last taste of American food before you get on the plane, you know, that's a good place to go. Because there's, so, there's such a variety there. And, you know, it's down south. So it seems like they put their little touch on it and it's just delicious. So make sure you stop. Get you something to eat before you get on the flight. So... The flight section where you sit is very nice. The international section, that's a very nice airport though. The Atlanta airport is extremely nice. So the international section is extremely nice also. So I usually just sit over there, get me something to eat. Like I said, I relax for a couple hours. Wi-Fi is free there. That's really important because my husband, when he came here, from Nigeria, he flew United. He flew from Lagos to Germany, and from Germany to um, Chicago. So, 
you know, when he's in Chicago, I haven't heard from him. I'm really concerned because I hadn't heard from him since he left uh, Germany. I didn't know what happened. So come to find out, he's, uh, Chicago does not have free Wi-Fi, you guys. So I would not recommend that airport for that reason. So I would never fly in to uh, Chicago because they don't have free Wi-Fi. And I think that's just like <laughs> rude. You know, this day and